Hey guys, this is Oliver McEwen um, here at Box Hall in Aarhus. Uh, I'm a bass player and musical director um, playing with Johnson tonight. And I just wanted to show you a little of the gear I use. Um, starting off, centerpiece, the new BP-1 from Caveman Audio, which is the newest addition to my uh, pedal board. Um, I use it as a gain stage and a preamp, which does a bit more than a traditional DI, but uh, we can get into that later. Other than that, I use the Dark Glass uh, Vintage Lux and Supersymmetry. Supersymmetry in this hip hop setup, I uh, basically use as an always on uh, compressor, which is a great sound. Um, I also use two different drives and an octaver and a bass wah for this uh, setup because uh, in this particular hip hop setup, we're just two musicians on stage, well, three talk box, drummer, and bass player so there's a lot of room in there for a lot of fills and luckily we have an artist that loves when we do all kinds of shit so <laughs> we try to just mix it up and do something new every night and that's uh, really fun other than that i have my moog subsequence 37 uh, which i have an expression pedal down here just controlling the uh, expression uh, with the filter other than that i actually also play a electric double bass, which is parked over there. And in two parts of the show, I also play keyboards. So I play piano intro and uh, Rhodes intro to one of the songs, which I won't translate because it's kind of a dirty title. All right, so as I said, the BP-1 is the newest addition to my pedal board. And I actually was looking for a good preamp that I could have in the pedal board that I could have with me to TV gigs and one-offs and on and off stage and it's always sound the best and i've been looking and looking i actually couldn't find one when i stumbled across caveman audio and um and actually i thought i needed more options but it turns out the gain knob which does more than just uh turn up and down uh kind of had everything i needed in there because the gain at 12 o'clock is neutral but as soon as you go above 12 o'clock it starts adding uh, harmonic distortion kind of in the fashion of the famous red knob gain modules um that kind of sound and that kind of just beefs up the whole bass sound so it has like a natural almost like an eq type uh, quality to it that i really loved when i tried it my first experience with it was when I added it. I actually had a really expensive DI before this also. And even with that, it kind of just took like this light woolen blanket off my sound. It was like it opened up the EQ curb to kind of be uh, the egality of the instrument was remaining. And it just kind of kept on going, whether it was down towards the low end or towards the, the high end. But it just kind of didn't roll off anywhere. It just like opened up the sound, which I really loved um, because not only was there like an EQ difference, there was some sort of dynamic difference that I had to play a few concerts before I really noticed. It was like it, it placed itself better in the mix for every song somehow. Um, don't know how you do it, but somehow that you managed to do that. Um, and that was kind of a, a very significant difference. Um, and also kind of, I cut away in my old DI, I had a, like an EQ in it and actually did, don't really need that anymore, which is, uh, kind of, uh, incredible. Yeah. So I really love it. Amazing piece of gear. All right. So let me just, uh, run you through my rig here. Um, so this is my, my, uh, clean sound. And actually, as a funny little uh, side note, I, as one of the few bass players out there, I know I'm, I'm alone on this one. I actually don't like the sound of new strings very much. And the strings that were on were really dead. So I had to change them. And to my astonishment, I actually do like the, the sound of, of new strings with the BP-1. For some reason, there's this high end that's softened out somehow it's like it's easier on the ears um which was a big surprise to me because i really didn't like 
the sound of new strings before that. But as you can hear, the very new strings. That's my clean sound. And with the compressor on it, the supersymmetry. And then I also have um, this being mainly kind of a strong armed sounds for the show. I have a, a, the Sub and Up October from TC Electronics, which adds both low end and a little bit of the octave above because I actually have some solos in the show, which are, yeah, I'll get into that. They're, they're kind of at the high points sometimes, which is untypical for a bass solo, I guess, but so they have to be kind of, yeah, large sound. I also have the vintage drive, which is like the more aggressive of my uh, distortions. Yeah, so that's gonna dry through, uh, which a lot of it is going to be distorted, but there's the low end is kept because I have it dry through. A little bit of a crunchy uh, bass juice from T-Rex, which is more like a distant mild overdrive for uh, the kind of groovier, punchier songs where I just have like a one kick and then there's... that kind of thing. And bass wah, because some of this stuff is, uh, this is a little secret of, of hip hop and in general, uh, a lot of records, producers sometimes forget to bounce things out of stems. So when they have to do a live show way later, sometimes they aren't separated. So a couple of the songs we have, um, there's actually a synth bass on the track. Of course, I can't play synth bass on top of the synth bass, so I'll try to just play something different, which is like, for example, a uh, bass wah on top of it. So it'll be. And for the solos, I sometimes just kind of everything in. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and taking a look at my gear. Hope you had fun and check out the Cambian Audio stuff real soon.